a picture from a farmer's field from Hisar sent by one of my farmers where we are doing the project. This can eventually happen when the structures are not designed. And what are the problems I will tell you. This, this is uh, the first picture is from Hyderabad. This one is from Ludhiana. None less than, now the project is closed, so I always never used to reveal the name, but Prime Minister Manmohan Singh went to inaugurate this project by Airtel, Bharti Airtel. There was only one mistake in the structure. The foundation was on a nut bolt. Heavy foundation, as heavy as you can imagine. A column, heaviest column. But the connection between the two was on a nut bolt. One fundam fundamental mistake. 35 euro per square meter structure collapsed three times in three years. And I had told him on the first day that this is, there is a fundamental mistake that the structure foundation is not stable because it was on a pointed load. OK, so this is what happens. So let me quickly summarily tell you how do you analyze any problem. The first problem starts with the gutter itself. Okay, many, many of the Pune design, the gutter is a, a 0.8 meter, a 0.8 millimeter, 0.6 millimeter. These days, some Galvel is coming, and uh, there are some uh, recent talks of uh, using polyethylene gutter also. So these are different gutter options which is available in the market. This is my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, but this is my opinion that uh, gutters are, have basically two jobs. One job is to carry the rainwater. Second job is a structural job which people should get on it and change the plastic. Right? Anybody disagrees with this? This is what the gutter is supposed to do. So, yeah, when you need to change the plastic, where do you go? How do you change this plastic? You, you cannot change this plastic uh, from anywhere else. You have to get onto the gutter. So the design load for gutter is about 260 kilogram of carrying capacity, which people should, at least four people, four healthy, hefty people, only then they can pull the plastic, should be able to get on top of it. There are, I'm not saying all the structures have got in and they have problems. There are thinner gutters available, but what happens eventually, if the gutter is not galvanized properly, it tends to rust. Once it tends to rust, you have the drip irrigation from bottom and you have flood irrigation from top. It tends to bend. After it bends, it will not allow the water flow at certain points. After it does not stop the water flow at certain points, it tends to rust. And after it rusts, it starts the water from the top. This is a typical problem of uh, many structures around the country. So when you go to check, you check the thickness of the gutter. Ideal thickness starts from minimum 1.6 millimeter to 2 millimeter. This is how international companies I'm talking about. They use it minimum 1.6, 1.5 to at least 2, mi 2 millimeters. And many of the companies like Top Greenhouse, Richel, uh, Azrom, all these international brands, that's what they use it. But India, the trend is 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1. utna mota gutter. Let's put it this way. So just to show you a sample of a gutter, somebody has to help, it's very heavy. One, one, one from the person from the farmer, please. One of you from Hyderabad, sir, come. I need a little stronger, you may not be able to lift it. <laughs> <laughs> try to lift it. Does it sound heavy? It look heavy. So feel it, just try to lift it. It is only half gutter, it is only two meters. The actual weight of the gutter is about 23 kilo to 26 kilogram, depending on the thickness. Yeah, you can keep it now. So there are two things which is important for gutter. The weight of the gutter, the, the thickness of the gutter, and then the coating of the gutter. Because all the jinks are, all this is zinc coated. Zinc coated a standard material market availability is 120 GSM. GSM is gram per square meter. This one should be at least 275 gram per square meter. This is the standard which internationally it is followed. We have tried to bring that into India. Now, you can imagine why a greenhouse is cheap or why a greenhouse is expensive. If somebody is using 0.8 millimeter gutter and somebody is using 1.6 millimeter gutter, what will the difference in weight? Almost half. Whether you are using gutter at the end or not. You see here? Rainwater is coming on the top also, so the gutter needs to be collecting the water from here. If you are using the gutter, collecting the water at the end, then the weight in a one acre is about half a ton extra. Because each gutter is about 22 to 23 kilo into 10 gutters, 230 to 250 into two sides, 500 grams, 500 kilo into 55 rupees, let's say, for a galvanized gutter. So that increases the cost 10 rupees per square meter. Now with the gutter, there are two parts which comes, gutter and connector. Because every gutter that you use, you have to close it. And then there is a gutter drainage hole. This is one part which goes to the other end. 
which collects the rain water and drops it. So all this goes extra. When, so this is one problem analysis that you can make gutter is a structural member. Whenever you have a continuous gutter, you cannot have thicker than one millimeter. So essentially this gutter needs to be broken down to four meter pieces. And when you break down the gutter to four meter pieces, there is a, every chances of leakage, which we also faced in many installations that we did. So any of your farmers which uh, gutter is leaking, it was our mistake. But gutter should not leak at the joints. So for that you put a silicon sealant before you fix the gutter. There is a proper silicon sealant which has to be put in one layer and on the top there is a second layer of gutter goes and then you do tighten with a nut bolt. So this is, you can check at the time of installation if your installation guy is doing or not. If he is putting the silicon sealant or is not putting the silicon sealant. Okay. I'll tell you, plastic gutter, where do you tie it at the end of it? You have the plastic gutter, you tie it to the metal, right? No, no, let's, I will answer very logically, think about it. I'll make you think. When you tie it with the nut bolts or a self-drilling screw, it is in touch with some metal all the time, right? The metal will heat up during the daytime. It will cool at the night time. Alternate heating and cooling will break down the plastic. So it has happened. It has practically happened in the greenhouse at the time of changing the plastic. After two years, the guy fell down and broke his hand and leg. The strength of the plastic gutter goes. But the advantage there is that it does transfer some diffuse light. But at the risk of human life, it's a big no for my, my experience. Now, here what happened in, uh, uh, this is a case of Haryana. Every farmer, they calculate the load of weight. What is the steel 300, okay, 5 kg steel into 50 rupees, 250 rupees. He charged me 500 rupees, so there is a 300 rupees margin. Let me become a fabricator. This is what happened in Haryana, but as I said, people don't know what not to do. So they copied, but you see what happened. He didn't know how to put the silicone. He did not know how to make a proper gutter and see all the gutters are teda. All the gutters are leaking. This is, he built his own greenhouse and he got subsidy. But eventually he couldn't grow anything inside. So gutter part is over. The third is a drainage connection. And rainwater is very precious and the whole country is uh, struggling with the drought. So whatever is the annual rainfall, you can calculate the area and you know how much volume of water that you are collecting. Tomorrow in the session, Bhavin will be talking about uh, rainwater harvesting. But this is a must to collect all the rainwater that is coming at the end and put it in a common channel and direct it to a line, pond. This will take care of your extra irrigation requirement during the bad times. So this kind of pipe connection is necessary. There are other alternative methods to do. I have no comments on that, but the idea is that rainwater should be collected. See, 12, around 14 years back, I did rainwater harvesting system in my house of uh, 6,000 square feet. All the area, then across the road, the borewell is gone to 1,600 feet. My, my water is 125 feet. And without any problem, till 14 years, I'm still getting water because I just did from 6,000 square feet. Actual, it's two floors. So on the top is only about 3,000 square feet. 3,000 square feet, I can collect enough rain water to take care of my family, recharging my borewell. So think about the farm, which is 10 hectares and five, 15 hectares. All the surface area, let's say 900 millimeters of rain, converted into a centimeter and see how many, or meter and see into area, you see how much volume of water that you are actually going to lose if you just don't collect it. It's humongous. Next is the wind load design. As I said, even four tunnels of our uh, fell down. But uh, this is uh, what happens if a structure is too thick. But that is that actually should not be a scope of a work of a farmer because this is again the structural design. So fundamental department guideline needs to change from giving pipe diameter, giving uh, column diameter and truss diameter to actually going on to the structural designing part. I will explain you why. Now see this is structure. It has used, let's say, all the thing as per the guideline. But look at the truss. It's going inside. It will send the rainwater inside. So everything is perfect as per your guidelines. But this slope is not normal. Will the farmer die or he will survive? Next is the clamps. When you use the wrong quality of pipe, this tends to break. When you use wrong quality of connectors, it tends to rust. So whenever your greenhouse is coming, check if connectors are rusted. If not, whoever is the fabricator, ask him to show you some of his greenhouses. You go and check if his connectors are rusted, anywhere greenhouse parts are rusting or not. If it's not rusting, if it's rusting today, it will rust after six months, after one year, your greenhouse structure is there for 20 years, 15 years minimum. I have projects here. I think there are people who are there, uh, Ravi, for 20 years in the greenhouse industry. So these are the things that you can check. So normally, to check that again, there is a coal galvanization. 
and uh, electroplating electroplating coating is about 12 uh, microns it should be more than 20 microns then it lasts for longer uh, forever zinc ferrous coating uh, tested at least for 250 watt hours of salt water test so these are the things that uh, is very difficult for you as a farmer to know but uh, at least the experts should know as a farmer it's next to impossible it's a very technical subject but uh, at least 250 hours of salt water test is needed for the nut bolts uh, then it will when I was designing my uh, uh, greenhouse and I was in the phase of sourcing my material here locally, uh, I had my Israeli collaborator and we were running around here and there looking for a nut bolt. I almost lost my patience. I said, why the hell you are wasting my time and going 300 kilometers, 400 kilometers, meeting this vendor. We have 80 rupees kilo nut bolt, you buy it. He says, the failure starts with the failure of first nut bolt. So, any nut bolt is not okay. The right quality of nut bolt is very 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 necessary but for you there is no way that you can actually know the right quality of nut bolt so it's better to choose the right quality of supplier something is costing 600 rupees something is costing 700 rupees the extra 100 rupees goes in upgrading all this quality it's not really making more money it is sending the right quality crimp foundation this is the telescopic foundation which is in many of the guidelines but telescopic foundation is pointed low sir you are feeling a little sleepy come here i need to talk to you i am poking him see what happened are you feeling pain? No? 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 no. 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 He is a very strong person. <laughs> but generally, when you poke somebody from the other side, it is area is more. The force per unit area is distributed. But in this case, when it is a sharp edge, it is hurting more. More than this, right? Oh. Huh, it's hurting. <laughs> So it's hurting when you hit it at a pointed load. This, this is called distributed load. This is called pointed load. So in this case, it's a pointed load. In this case, it's a distributed load. There is a third methodology, methodology in our system where they are building it on the top. That is also OK. But crimping foundation is a better way of doing foundation because it gives a distribution of load and there is a circumferential contact. When you put the next column on the top of it, this is called crimping. Suppose this is 2 inch pipe, this OD is reduced to the internal diameter of 2 inch pipe. So this will go in the 2 inch pipe, this much portion. So this has a contact all over. And this kind of a structure should last longer. Next very important thing. Uh, if it is a 4000 square meter long shed, some of the companies are advising to have the uh, elevation in between and the gutter will give the slope the 50 percent other side 50 percent this side mm -hmm. so the what is happening when they are raising the columns from foundation so as per the middle elevation so the pipe so the uh, foundation pipe is in the soil just uh, say one and a half to two feet mm. in in between so when we complain to the company mm. they give an additional rcc enforcement mm. pillars like so will it uh, Give the strength to the shed, sir. The normally it is a four feet uh, column, sir. No, no, pipe. no. I'm asking what is the size, dia of the foundation pipe? It is two and a half inch, three inch. Yeah, that normal regular size. And w and they are using this welding technology or nut bolt technology? Can you go back inside pipe? No? Insert, inserting the pipe. This technology. Yeah, this one. Uh, yeah, uh, inserting the pipe. Yeah, inserting yes, the pipe from outside or this technology. There are two technology. So crimping is the best technology yeah you have telescopic model where foundation pipe smaller pipe for example you want three inch column two and a half inch will be your foundation on the top you have a two and a half inch column okay in other case in welding model mm -hmm. for example if you want two and a half inch column they will put three inch foundation and two and a half inch as a column what kind of foundation no it is they will insert a pipe so my point is that so because the length of shed is more so for what is the never length never go for one second what is the length uh, length is about uh, uh, 20, 21 into 4, 22 into 4, some 88 meters. Yeah, 88 meters. Normally what happens is uh, in a good installation, you prepare the soil itself. So you give the soil in the slope, not in the structure. Means uh, the slope is achieved by obtaining a proper level of the soil. Yeah. This is the correct method of doing Anything else is not right. So and many people do it. They add more uh, columns or a different size of foundation. That is also another method. Yeah, that's what they are doing. Yeah. So uh, it depends. I, I don't know the details of the foundation, but sure. it really depends. The standard method is that but they said the latest technology is that we wanted to give the uh, load stress of rainwater on the gutter 
No, it's a wrong. It I will tell you. No, I will tell you the logic. Let's understand the logic. Yeah. Wherever there is an extra rainfall. Yeah. See this. Uh, let's go back to the gutters. Okay. The this is the uh, gutter is collecting the rainwater, right? Yeah. Now, if you have 40 meters, that much of volume, so it has a ca carrying capacity. It cannot carry. So you calculate the surface area of this into the volume of rainwater that is coming into the duration that it is coming so it is supposed to have any peak carrying capacity of the water so peak carrying capacity suppose is 100 cubic meter for example 100 cubic meter can carry in 40 meters length but if you have 80 meters then it will have 200 cubic meter 200 cubic meter if you put then it will overflow to the plastic yes. and if it goes to the plastic it will tear off the plastic and you will be damaged and it will enter into the greenhouse so giving a two slope is the right way of doing it giving the slope from the middle is the right way of doing it right okay and then what it they do is that they have to have a collector at both the ends yeah that's what they do that is the, so this is uh, there is no dispute to that he has so done only the right the because thing. of the middle elevation huh. the, the uh, ground level uh, original ground level it has gone into one and a half feet only mm -hmm. so in other areas it has gone three feet that's why in, i'm in telling what is the ground load they gave uh, given additional rcc also one more uh, one more thing is there in the middle most of the time the, when the wind comes the stress is more on the perimeter not on the central so okay. central even if it's little bit less foundation i don't think it's going to create a havoc thank you Next important thing is that uh, we get complaints about the profiles and the spring. Uh, this is, a, we, we had a absolutely, my first business was supplying the plastic. So we make one of the best plastics in the world. And the plastic was going, brand new plastic, one month we get complaints our plastic is torn. We go and check, we check the new plastic. Any new plastic if you tear, it has a method of tearing. You can check it yourself. So whether company's fault is there or your fault is there or structure fault is there, this you can check it yourself. This is a new plastic, okay? Brand new plastic. See what happened. There is a wave. You see this wave? If this wave is there in the plastic, but you see the cut from the profile, it will be a straight. This is a brand new plastic, but this cut is straight. There is no wave. You look at this one, these pictures. This picture, you see these waves. It has torn from the profile, but the with the wave, it means the plastic is not at fault. This kind of tear happens because the profile is sharp. I gave you the example of putting the pin on your hand. It is a dis pointed load. When you have the pointed load and profile is sharp, then it will damage your plastic. So this is how you see all these waves. You can see there is no crop inside. This was a negotiation which I lost the order for just two rupees per running meter. 1000 square meter of greenhouse, 800 meters of profile. Total loss uh, for putting an extra profile would have been 1600 rupees, which would have served the plastic for a longer time. But with this, just 2 rupees extra, it damaged the plastic of two bays, which is 32,000 rupees. So what you save is not a saving, and what you spend is really, it hits you badly if you take wrong decisions in terms of selection. Second thing is that there is a debate between coated spring and non-coated spring. Again, the logic. Let's say profile. This is a round edge. It will distribute the load. This is another cavity for locking the spring. This is another cavity for locking the spring. So you can practically use two springs to lock it properly. And there is a central line. So whenever there is a profile, you check. There is a central line. There is this curvature. There is this curvature. And there is this curvature. These three curvatures will make a good profile along with the central line. Because central line is given so that you can put the self drilling screws exactly at the same point. Sometimes you do everything right and still there are complaints. And then you wonder why there are complaints, because something is not done right. So excellent profile, excellent plastic, excellent structure, wind came, all the structures blew up. All the plastic blew up. So we had to send a specifically fly down one person to check it. And what he did, the guy, he had put self-drilling screw on the profile at every one meter. So obviously it had no holding capacity. So profile was good, the spring was good, plastic was good, the structure was good, only self-drilling screw was missing. So you would have saved some 10,000 rupees or 5,000 rupees. I don't know how many numbers you would have saved. So 800 meters into two, 1,600 numbers of self-drilling screws is saved, but he lost all the plastic. He stitch it with, together with the skirting film. This will not allow any bit, gap between the insect net and the skirting film. Typical length of the profile is about four meters. Then comes the important thing. You buy a Mercedes and give the driver who has been driving bus. So this is exactly the case. You bought an illuminate which is costing close to 80 rupees a square meter and you put it with a Rassi system and you tear the illuminate just in the first year itself. It has a life of 15 years at least. Second thing, 
same problem you buy a illuminate you buy a air conditioner leave your doors open not good you should not have this much of gap when you fix the illuminate is the same system driver of mercedes mercedes driven by a bus driver maybe is a good driver but sometimes accidents do happen so the right method of fixing aluminum net is this where the space is reduced you get the actual control of temperature from both the side in the summer from the top in the winter from the bottom there is one question that comes always this story should wake you up actually we are doing a greenhouse in the maharashtra guideline is written a structure where the subsidy will be given on 40 by 100 65 by this thing up to 1 acre of greenhouse but they only mean by 40 by 100 it cannot be 44 by 96 it cannot be 68 by something else it has to be only what is written in the book yes the site did not allow that 40 by 100 so he had to cut more trees grown up orange trees to accommodate that exactly size or so that he could uh, get the subsidy second question that came there was the orientation of the structure the uh, has to be always in indian condition mostly north south the reason is the shadow of the gutter should move if you have the north south and sun rises in the east and goes to the west the shadow of the gutter should move so there is no constant shadow in the greenhouse another lesson which i learned from nagpur i must tell you that installed the greenhouse ulta when i say ulta means north south was uh, the gutter was east west so either the ventilation should be open on the north side or east side the top vent as per the guideline should be open either on the north side or the eastern side so our installer fix it ulta we had to reinstall all the greenhouse one acre so this is another point that you need to learn from our mistake is the ventilation holes the top vent should be either in the east side or on the north side if your gutter is on the north uh, gutter is on the north south the ventilation has to be on the east side okay if it is on the east west gutter is on the east west your whole uh, the ventilation has to be on the northern side predominantly the one more important thing that you need to know how much of vent to close normally you see many of the designs at 3 and 1/2 meter side curtain or 4 meter side curtain and the middle it is closed this will block the ventilation in a hotter area we need to allow maximum opening so as much as you can open that is how you should open because you have to get at least 40% ventilation of the floor area surface area this is the thumb rule in this structure you can see my person is 5 and 1/2 feet 5 feet 8 inches but the this side curtain is up to 5 feet 8 inches which is terrible you are actually blocking the ventilation so you can have about a meter of side skirting 1 and 1/2 meter is the most not to this height this brings to the very important topic of importance of design which i have been telling you for so long this is the situation here we will use it but we will not know why we use it not applying mind using the technology without applying mind and hence the failure necessity is mother of invention 3 years is only a child so please forgive me 3 years uh, after 19 years or 18 years of experience in the field and with so much of technical knowledge i realize that many farmers are still being taken granted and not getting the right technology ignorance but uh, who is supposed to educate everything starts with the price ends with the price somebody has to take the bell the cat right so this was the reason that with so many years of experience i decided to come in the field of manufacturing greenhouse actually not with an objective of making money trust me the idea was to basically provide the right technology and what are the different things that we did i had 19 years so 21 years of experience before i started making greenhouses in the field i had all the production drawings from israel i had all the assembly drawings from israel and then i found it very difficult really found it difficult it took me almost 3 years even to say that okay we are becoming stable but today the reality is israel is a good country which is very close to our conditions in protected farming it has 3 to 4 greenhouse manufacturers but in looking at india even obama gets surprise gujarat till the last reported it had 104 fabricators Haryana had 42 registered impaneled fabricators and last week when I was speaking in a Fiki conference I was surprised to see that UP had 73 we are such a talented country how come now examples of design I will now give you this is the hook that I told you you see 20 into 4 80 kg is going on this hook it did not open we rejected 50000 hooks by this israeli counterpart 50000 hooks down the drain because it had to open at 54 kg if it opens at 54 kg for this particular design again don't copy the idea of 54 kg it is for this particular design it means 
the structure will be stable when there is a hail damage. So this hook is designed. This is another clamp, uh, clamp which we are checking for bending. So this bend, this had to bend at 100 and some kg, this one. This was also rejected. We wasted more than one lakh pieces. These are the learning phases that we went through for three years of experience. Uh, three years of experiment and 19 years of experience. So 19 plus 3 is 22. These are the testing which happens for the clamps. Now as a result, in the field, when you see a trellising system, you will never see a trellising system failing because this is tested in the field, tested in the lab, tested in the design conditions. You check what happens in the trellising system. You see this C. This C is going from one column to another column and this is a specially made wire rope, which probably, this is specially made wire rope. It has got another wire twisted on the top of it. So that once you fix the trellising wire, it should not slip, it should not move with the load. This is designed. And this is the C that you get. You get the C because it of the, to distribute the hanging load of at least 20 kg per square meter because when you talk of 80 and 90 tons of yield, your structure should not collapse. Recently we had a very interesting story last week. We also supply the twines which supports the tomato. There are two twines. One is a good one which takes longer load. Other one is a weaker one. So we offered the farmer please take this. This may not take the load. He chose the cheaper one. 12,000 plants per acre installed, rain came, crop load plus rain load, all the 12,000 plants on the ground. So really my only suggestion is that use the right product. Don't look for 100 rupees, 200 rupees, it proves to be really very expensive. And for you it's very difficult to judge what is the right uh, product or not. I'll give you a solution. So this is the designing of a trellising system. When you design the trellising system, neither the column tends to bend nor the uh, structure uh, will have any problems. This is the story of that uh, guy with pomegranate I told you, Mr. Uh, Bandari. You see these hooks, how it is uh, being fixed to the cable, but the hail came, what happened? All the structures in the area which was with the flat roof net house collapsed. Except this one, you see what happened, his damage was just one hook. He repairs, repaired his entire net house in just 5 rupees, that's all complete loss was not there at all in his case. There is another designing which we have for the wind, uh, snow load condition not relevant here, but in case one day there is a global warming and Hyderabad or Bangalore has a snow, then we can think of this design. <laughs> this again stretches and when the wind load, uh, this thing, snow load uh, uh, goes back or uh, snow melts, it goes back to its normal condition using a rubber. Profile, in the, all the guidelines it is written you have to use 120 gram or 220 gram of profile. Weight doesn't tell you anything. You may have 500 grams of profile and still it will open. You may have 200 grams of profile or 100 grams of profile, it may not open. There is a testing needs to be done. Lunch is only 25 minutes away, so it's okay. So you see this profile, 222 kg of weight and it is still holding good. So you see 1.2 mm, 156 kg spring jumps out. 0.9 mm, what is the weight? 186 kg. So it is the alloy of the profile which is very important, not the weight of the profile. This is a, this is a big mistake again which is happening around that 200 grams you use, 300 grams you use, it doesn't tell you anything. So these are the opening loads of different profiles. So what I want to say here is that every single component is important. It's not only the pipe diameter, not only the thickness, not only one single component which is relevant. It is every single component is very, very important for the and last but not the least, after you have used all the right components, you have to do the structural engineering test at different nodes, where the pressure is coming, how it will react to the wind, this thing. Unfortunately, that does not happen. This is one just testing of the connector. Even if you use the connector in the net house, we need to test practical testing. This is a trellising testing which is hung like this and left for more than three years to see if it can actually take the load or not. So all this design that you see, it is a result of this kind of rigorous testing. Now last is the production quality, this is the standard production quality versus what we do. This is a regular pipe versus a CNC machine. This is how it is produced rest of the country, many of the country, I will not say rest of the country, many parts of the country. And result of the quality production you can see good uh, structures. This is a nursery which will be again covered by next speaker. But this is a picture of a project that we executed here in Bangalore, it's uh, for a carnation project. I think you will be meeting him tomorrow, he is coming as a speaker or in the panelist. This is a structure that was installed in the uh, same after completion. This is a project that we did in Nagpur. This is a complete uh, project near Mysore. 
one farmer from Andhra. He will share his experience like you know we have called him recently. I also got the news that he has come. Let it go live. Nape Dharmagandhi. Nenu Chutur district ko yepi nicho chano. So nenu recent ante December lo na construction jari gende palay osu first time. So nenu January lo complete gende. February 25th nenu seeding start jai sano. Kukumbaru kukumbaru esan mini kukumbaru. So ipadi ki 97 days gende. So, in the first 35 days, I started harvesting. Now, I have 27 tons. So, my soil is less than 10 tons. It is sandy type. But, I have the maximum 20-25 tons. So, I have the same size as the company. So, I have the same size as the company. So, I have the same size as the company. So, I have the same size as the company. So, I have the same size as the duration of 120 days. So, I have the same size as the company. So, I have the same size as the company. So, I think that in my experience, the first of my efforts is to go to the Pali House and visit the Pali House. Even in Bangalore and surrounding areas, the structures and surrounding structures, the number of different structures in the Pali House, the number of structures in the Pali House. But, if you look at it, it is the best structure in the Pali House. Recently, the AP Articles Commissioner came to the Pali House. आयने इन तवर को एन नवर सी दिस टाइप ऑफ डिजाइन आना ना रहो, सो ना हैप्पी इन्दी, अंदर लो ना एफर्ट्स होना है, सेकंड उस चीन दी डिजाइन एफेक्ट्स गुड़न अनपिस्त होना दी, डिजाइन उस बाग उन्दे आप उधे अलाव उचिन दे मने नान कुंटो ना, सो ये ये डिजाइन्स तो इकड़मीर कड़े इंदा का सार वाल so, anda mungkin ye mana, ye entu nai, struktur su, allah komponen si enta, benny makud explain jessu, nengod ayam tenis koledu. Waktu saya tu cinti, wal flat tu koci visit jessau, ikatun na total, i different structures jessau. So, bagun dana nau a plants kelau, a plants lo choose entar wata, so id bagun dana makani pichindi, structure su kuda in in time lo, ante one month lo mak structure sista mana naru, one time lo fix jessi ceru, icin entar wata structure chala beautiful ko cinti. At the same time, the crop is very big. So, when we do it, we have to choose and compare it. We have to ask questions here and different questions. But practically, I am a farmer. So, the structure is beautiful. So, my efforts are more efforts. So, not easy in Pali houses cultivation. So, we have to do the maximum of the maximum. Company, right? Agriplast. Extension is half acre. Half acre. Length is? 48 to. Gutter length is 48 to. 48 to. Width is 56. Project total cost is with the area and the complete cost is 23 lakhs. This is only construction cost is 80 and a flock and without drip. Drip. Without drip. So drip is more than 1 lakh. So drip is more than 1 lakh. Chutri District Pile, 9440125656, Dharma Reddy. So this bottom cord is creating a lot of obstacle in fixing the motorized uh, shade net or even uh, otherwise. And this is also creating extra shade. So worldwide the companies have gone for a cable system which is a much more flexible. And this uh, helps in trellising also and does not create any shade. So this kind of system needs to be allowed and we don't necessarily have to have a bottom, bottom cord which does not serve any scientific purpose. It's just there because somebody has written and the guy he, he is, who has written, he doesn't know why he has written. But since it is written, it has to be written. You understand what I am saying? Now this is a greenhouse uh, that we built without a bottom cord. We had a lot of hassles with the subsidy but we somehow got, the, uh, got them convinced and we got it. Uh, does it have a top ventilation? It does have a top ventilation. You will be seeing this greenhouse, we will be taking you on the field widget. Second thing is that uh, everywhere there is a round clamp and because the pipe is round, the clamp is round. Now it's a common sense that even if you fix in terms of wind, the flexibility of this kind of a structure, a round thing can move. So it can get dislocated. Initially when you see a structure it looks perfect but after six months or after some wind, a structure becomes tedameda. So my suggestion is that you should allow rectangular sections, rectangular clamps also because they are equally good sections and they do not allow any movement once it is fixed. We have to have more innovative designs. I think the government should give only one criteria that is wind speed. They, it's not their business to design the greenhouses for the country. Nobody else does it. It's only India where this drama is going on. And because of this, farmers are dying. The guys who write the specification, they do not know why they are writing. 
and they do not have the knowledge of the subject and they are deciding for the whole country and they are not ready to listen. So there is a time that you have to do go for innovative designs. I will give you some examples. Rishal, world's largest, one of the largest greenhouse manufacturer already going for the oval sections. You can see this is much more. So 1.2 mm thickness of pipe, they are able to design greenhouses up to 11.6 meter span. It means less steel, cheaper for the farmers, but more strong. So it is importance of design. Here we are stuck with 8 meters by 4 meters. I will just show you some of this. Thing. These top greenhouses. You see here, they are having a structure up to 9 meters and 10 meters, 9.6 meters. Azrom. Azrom is another company which has 11.2 meters of structures. 11.2 meters of structure. Rishal. The last one is, uh, where is the biggest one? 12 meters. The first one is 12 meters of a structure with a proper design. Why don't we allow this flexibility? The problem is that number of fabricators, number of installers that we have, they will not be able to cope up with that kind of guidelines because it supports them. It does not support the farmer. There is one more solution that I have specifically for the hotter areas, especially in Hyderabad kind of area where everybody is going blindly for poly house. If you at all you have to go for poly house, it is recommended though it is expensive. It may cost as much as a poly house or close to a close to a net house structure on the top of a greenhouse structure but using the shading mechanism from the top is the only solution you have to stop the radiation from entering into the greenhouse you don't try to manipulate things once it has entered into the greenhouse so the best mechanism is to have a shading solution from the top outside so you can by now conclude that farmers are not rich enough to use cheap products and this brings us to the last 10 minutes of session on the greenhouse plastic, yes please. It is a structure which is planned on the top of the gutter. If you have the stronger gutter, you can plan this kind of a structure. Actually recently, I have brought this technology thinking about uh, the farmers of India and we will do our first trials in coming days. It is not yet ready. It senses the particular radiation. Suppose the temperature crosses 32 degree, 34 degree or whatever. After that radiation level, all the screen will be open. So on the top of it, you have the illuminate outdoor. Just can I have this? You see this? pulling mechanism this is right now in folded condition so once you have the automatic sensing it will spread on the roof once it spreads on the roof it cuts down the radiation and it keeps a greenhouse cooler by six seven eight degrees centigrade this is this is a must that's what I'm saying in a, if you are experiencing 43 44 45 in the poly house you will essentially have four degrees higher because it traps the infrared radiation the general recommendation is to have the shade net with the experience of the international people. It is at least one meter from the top, one and a half meter from the top of the plastic. See, if you see, go for the fully automated greenhouse, it can cost you anything. It can really cost you depend on the component that you are using. I know of a structure costing 100 euro per square meter, but that's not for India. So when you seek excellence, it cannot be cheapest. It has to be the best. And this is the line to be remembered.